Hi, I'm Dave and welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today we've got a lineup of SwitchBot products to show you. Now we weren't sponsored by SwitchBot, so we just saw these and thought these are really good, really fun, so we thought we'd give them a try. But we'll have a look at the NFC tags now. And literally it is just a packet of three tags and some sticky labels. So they've already got a sticky on the back and so they've given you some extra stickies if you want to move them around. So we'll get our phone and set up a NFC tag and see if you can control or just make it control that bot so we can see it actually do something. So come to our phone and the first thing we need to do is make sure we have NFC turned on because obviously I use my phone for lots of contactless payments, so I generally leave that off. Um, I know that it only activates contactless payments with your fingerprint and the screen has to be unlocked. So I may start leaving it on, but I, I saw these and thought it'll be fun to try. Okay, so we'll go to the switch bot, come to NFC, function shortcut press, got it. Okay, that's done it this time. I can't see any FC tags there. Let's see if it moves the bot. Yay. Let's bring that up here so we can see it move at the same time. So that is doing it. So if we now say we want the camera to go into privacy mode, I'll do that and I'll pull up a, another tag and I'll put that tag there. Come to settings, NFC, and we will say privacy mode on. Nope, you've got to say got it first and then hold it there. It's now written that. Now if we look at our camera, I'll come out of there. And we can see it's gone to privacy mode. If I do it again, it's gonna stay in privacy mode because that's what it's set to do. Let's see if I can now change that tag to make it come off. So I'll say privacy mode off, got it and I'll reset that tag. So that tag's now been reset. And if I hold it over, it wakes up the camera. So the tags are reusable, so if you want to put them in other places and change their use, you definitely can. I can see this being very useful for some people. Um, if you haven't got the voice assistant or perhaps sort of you'd rather not speak at the time because let's say you're going to bed and you just wanna go, I, just want, you know, I don't want to wake the wife um, when you're going to go to sleep after you've been on your phone and so you just tap it and that will turn off all the lights. That could be really nice. Um, I'll have to see if we can get it to work with other things as well. Um, so we can make it work with Home Assistant or the other smart assistants to run other routines because I believe it does run routines as well. But that's the idea of the NIT. NFC tags. I think that could be quite useful. Um, I can't remember how much they were. Um, we just went through a shopping spree and got everything. Well, the NFC tags have an ability to render 888 bytes of memory. So that will be able to store a decent amount of code in there um, for any functionality. And it's got a distance of reading and writing to the chip of 0.25 centimeters to two centimeters. So it's NFC, what do you expect? That's about right. It also works with Apple iOS as well. So you could use Siri shortcuts to quickly listen to music and, and to connect to Wi-Fi and do a whole lot of other things. So that could be an interesting one. It's actually using it as a Wi-Fi ID tag. So you can just allow people to NFC touch this and get access to your guest Wi-Fi network. 
I'll probably try and set that one up actually in a bit. The whole ecosystem, I really like. They have thought things through. On the whole, I really, really love the SwitchBot ecosystem. I think they've really thought things through very well. I'm really enjoying the products. The camera is a great bit of fun. It works really well, so I'm hiding it. The camera's really good. Um, the whole pan tilt zoom functionality of it is brilliant because uh, we had a small camera there before and it was only in one place and you can only see what was in front of it. Now you can see the whole room and when we're out and we want to just look after the dog, we can just zoom around and see her and it's nice, really like that. And the local storage on it's brilliant and the fact you can also do some cloud storage functionality on it as well was also very nice. The hub isn't needed for everything, but it is needed for some things. So depending on what you're, how you're gonna use it, you can get the hub at the beginning or you can get it later on if you want to open up more functionality. Again, that's really nice how they've actually thought that, well, people don't want everything on the cloud. People might just want something local and they've allowed that and that's brilliant of SwitchBot. So thank you very much for that. That's it for now. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If so, do give it a good thumbs up, like, comment. And the most important thing is to subscribe. We really need to get our subscribers up, guys, because we really do appreciate talking to everyone and it's YouTube looks for the number of subscribers more than anything else. That's the most important thing for us. And if you do want to get yourself any of the SwitchBot products, I'll we'll have a link in the description down below to SwitchBot directly. And we've also got a discount code for you as well. So using our link and our discount code, you'll be able to get yourself, I believe it's 10% off. And I do think it is really worthwhile. I think the whole system is really great. I love it. Well, that's it for now. Take care. As always, have a nice day and see you again soon. Bye for now.